Transport and logistics is a big problem that a lot of trusts face. We saw that kind of activation energy around the APN and Skyports project because we feel it every day. You know, we someone at the moment has to drive all the way to Berwick. And Newcastle or like North Tyneside to Berwick is the same distance as London to Brighton. And we're the only healthcare organisation providing care of these services that we provide across that geography. My name's Kath Johnston and I am the manager of Anik and Berwick Oncology Day Units. Chemotherapy is made at the Wandsbeck Hospital and then it is delivered up to, the, up to Anik and up to Berwick on the days that we're open. Our chemotherapy first run arrived about nine o'clock. We've just had a second run. That's usual for us that we would get two runs a day. Ground and airspace clear. Pilot ready. Commencing launch. So I'm Andrew Edmonds. I'm the Director of Innovation at Northumbria Healthcare. The thing that really drives how we provide healthcare to our patients and the, the population across Northumberland and North Tyneside, the health inequalities, um, and the health uh, outcomes that we see across our regions, both of which I think are particularly challenged. For us, if there's any route where we can improve the care that we deliver to our communities. That's what we need to be looking at. Making sure that we've got supplies where they need to be and that those are you know, arriving on time, they're arriving at a kind of pace that actually supports patient care, that's critical as well. We're not just talking about deliveries over large geographical distances, that's part of the route that we've gone down with the trial that we're doing but you know some of our sites and some of the things that we're looking to do in the future will be over rural areas they will be over um, kind of shorter distances we have patients sometimes whose bloods are on the borderline you can only give chemotherapy if their bloods have reached a certain threshold so the biggest benefit for us is if somebody's bloods are on the borderline the apian and skyports drone project will allow us to get bloods down to the ones back and be processed much quicker than is currently happening so hopefully if you've got enough flights a day with this new system, we can catch a flight quite quickly and get the bloods down and hopefully have results in an hour and 15 minutes. The Trust overall has got a really big ambition around designing the future. In terms of where the NHS is looking, you know, what the NHS looks like in five to 10 years time and what the challenges are that it's gonna face over those five to 10 years, there's even more need now for, it, for innovation and doing things differently and kind of pushing the boundaries on what's, what's, what, what is possible than I think probably at any point in the NHS's history.